to that society. Yeah. And, yes. and different society, a French society, could have a different view. So, so one can be easily confused by saying, you know what, truth is relative to what this community of people think, but it's Basically, not true to me. If you were raised so what is true to you? No, listen, if you were raised in Nazi Germany, you would believe the truth is that Jews are bad. It's very so, likely, and Jordan Peterson proved that in some sort of discussions, it's very likely that you would believe differently. So your truth is literally based on where you live, where you're from, who raised you, etc. If truth is to be something that is marinated in your head and then pops up and all of a sudden it's true because you have this confirmation bias from all your society, then there is no such a thing as truth. Okay, let me give you an example to illustrate what I'm saying. If a large community of people consider God exists, then it's true that God exists. Is that what you're saying? Within that society, yeah. Yeah. So if everyone decides now, we do not exist, it means we do not exist. That means That's the truth. truth. So the reality. I can disagree or I can so, go so the reality, the reality, the reality can be based on people's thoughts about what they think the truth, or it could be independent of them. Is that right? Reality is. Does this cosmos you, exist? The reality is your experience okay. of what reality Does is. this cosmos the exist? Okay. Let's go back to. I want to so, illustrate yeah, with this example of the cosmos. Okay. Do we see the cosmos in existence? Uh, I guess I don't see yeah. much. The world around us, right? Yeah. yeah, existence. Now, suppose all of us agree that this is non existent. Is that the reality? I guess so. But the reality is it exists. Reality is subjective. Independent of our subjective opinions about it. No, because we agree it exists. No, we agree it doesn't exist. No, we, what we agree, if we agree it doesn't exist, does it make it non-existent? What we're saying, what you're, you're confusing here. Let me clarify my question. If we all agree it doesn't exist, does it make it non-existent? What you're confusing here is the fact that uh, we, we all agree it exists. No, but you misunderstand. Let me, finish. let me finish. But you misunderstand my question. Let me finish. My question is, if you all agree the reality, we do not exist. Does it make it non existent? It's my question. What the difference is, is what we agree. Our difference is how we agree it came to be and how it exists. You don't understand my question and, and my position. Determines, uh, Maybe I can ask you again. Reason or logic. You misunderstood my question. You if we understand. all agree that nothing exists, we don't exist. Well, you already asked me this question. Now, it. now does it make it non existent? Yeah, in your purpose. In reality. In reality, about does it make it non-existent in reality? The truth. You are the only. Imagine you are the only camera observing something happening. Then you you are the only camera. If you switch off the camera, then nothing that the camera sees will exist. So if you die tomorrow. The illustration that I gave, if all of us agree that we are non-existent. The reality is what I'm asking you. Is their existence in reality, not what we thought and we agreed upon. I don't think there is an objective reality. I didn't ask you that. Human beings that by genetics I only asked you to perceive reality in particular in a schematic way and then they view it. See, if we all agree. For example, if you ask me, do I believe there is a fifth or sixth or seventh dimension, but we don't view it? Yeah, if you can prove there you is, see, then there is. My, but I my, see my simple illustration was of the existence all around us. The fact that you basically the, asked the, the, the fact that the fact that you and I am, are speaking to each other yeah. is because we consider each other as existent. Now suppose. We all agreed, for whatever reason, that we do not exist. Does that make us non-existent in reality? And if you agree, right? But you said truth is... Uh, in reality. But there is no community exactly. that would think that for. What is the answer, sorry? There will be always somebody who say, I think exist, reality does I exist. I mean, I have nothing exist. else to tell you. No, no, I asked you a question. But you know very well, in reality, we exist. Doesn't matter whether this person or you or me decide that we don't. The reality is independent of our 
opinions. I may believe there's a tree there, or I may believe the tree is not there. The tree is independent of my belief. The tree exists independent of me. You base my idea that there's an absolute truth. I don't believe. I've just demonstrated there is. So you are saying. If we all agree that we are non-existent, in reality that makes us non-existent. And yet we are talking. Because no one agrees on what you said. Two non-existent beings are talking. I didn't say I don't exist. But if we agree that we don't. But I didn't agree with you. He's wrong. What if people do? Because your definition of truth was agreement. If people agree. Suppose we agreed. We gave you money and you agreed. Did he agree I don't exist? Imagine, imagine I, we paid him. We paid him, I paid you, for the sake of argument, and then you agreed. So yeah, we, we don't exist. Our agreement doesn't make it reality. In the, our reality is independent of what we think. If I think that tree is existent or not, the tree exists independent of my thinking. So I had this question prior, how do you explain higher dimensions? What dimensions? Just higher dimensions. No. There's three dimensional space, right? Yeah. And there's time. We live in that sort of part of what is possible, right? So how do we explain dimensions that you cannot perceive? We can only talk about dimensions that we know of. Ah, so your purview is restricted, right? No. So you have to agree We have to operate have to we have to operate in this world with the rational faculty that we have, with the tools that we have to discuss things rationally and logically. I cannot just simply say, oh a triangular circle or a squared circle exists somewhere else. Because in our reality it doesn't exist. So I have to operate with this kind of rational understanding in this reality. Perfect circles don't exist, it's the opposite. Triangular square? Perfect circle, sorry. I didn't say perfect. Exist, right? Triangular perfect circle. Square or perfect tri triangle. That's trigonometry and the triangular tri circle. Tri triangular and square. So what you're talking about was invented by humans. No, so I'm talking about there are things that we operate because of our rational faculties. No, because you called something to be this or that. The tree is a tree. Do you live your life according to certain principles, logic and rationality? Of course you do. Yeah. So that's what we operate our lives and our understanding of reality on. Our reality. Reality is. So if I agree, God exists, God exists, because because of my agreement, right? To you, yeah. No, 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 to you as well, because I agree God exists, it must you be agree. You agree with me. I don't agree that God exists. Then that basically has nothing to do with truth. It is just simply my word play. Oh, I think I am the president. Okay, I am the president of... Um, yeah, but you know, Zamunda. God, Does it make right? me a president? Because I think so. Brother, can we have so one discussion? Yeah? Please, oh, this is relax. Man, you are. This is relax. Tree is a tree to a god is a god when you cannot perceive God, really. So, so what is I God? What is God? Something that was invented by people to treat themselves up, to reinforce their own grandiosity. Okay. That's God. And what is the qualities of God people are giving? It's a magical father there in the sky. I don't that, call him the father. That. I don't call him the father. Well, different religions call it the father, different religions. I don't, I don't. Well, you don't have to. I'm just saying. So, your understanding of God comes from a belief system in which I they call him. I understand God, I'm not pretending I do, and I'm not interested in trying to understand God because I don't believe he exists. And what's your reason for that? My choice. Choice. There is no other reason okay. besides that. If I, if I choose to believe that, that you don't God. exist, you don't exist. It's my choice, right? No, no. If I don't believe you exist because of my choice, you don't exist. Well, maybe he believes I exist. No, I don't. So you don't exist, right? I just want to understand the... You? No. I want to understand the rationality, the logic that you're using. So if I choose not to believe that you exist, it makes uh, you non-existent. But we are talking about God and you're talking about rationality. So I, don't I asked you the reason why you... The reasons of non-belief in, in, in God. You said choice. Yeah, I don't need God. Yeah, yeah. So I don't need to believe that you exist. So don't because I don't need to consider yourself you're important enough in this life. But you're comparing something that you can see right now in front of you to something that is imagined somewhere else. Imagined? Yeah, pretty much. What color is gravity? Whatever you imagine it to be. And what if you imagine your it green, then it's going to be green. But you believe in it. If you imagine it and you believe in it. You believe in gravity without seeing what color it is. Without your senses telling you. Can it be proven though? Of course not. Can gravity be proven? 
Have, you, have we found gravitons? The units of gravity? Well, then you would suggest that it's a particle. Have we demonstrated that through any evidence? Have we proven it in the lab? Of course we have it. We're talking about gravity. You believe in gravity. You're talking about God and you compare it to gravity. It's not the same thing. The reason I am saying this is this. I'll tell you why. And I never said I believe in gravity. You just assume. So why, 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 why does that thing fall? You know, when you drop the ball, why does it fall on the ground? Because it has its own thoughts and feelings. Yeah, is that what you believe? Do you believe in that? No, I didn't say it. You okay, why does it fall on the ground? Oh, because it does. Because it does. Is this a it's good enough rational explanation? He's his well, I have to understand everything in Aduna. I have to prove that I understand everything. You see, in order to say, oh, I don't believe in God. I mean, you expect way too much of my rationale, why I don't even believe in God, whilst you give me no reason to believe in one. Now, I asked you the reason you for your non-belief, then I can understand... I don't have to tell you. I just told you that it's my choice. If I said that this Then how can someone even give you any reason to believe because it's your choice at the end of the day? If you are able to convince me that there is one... Well, how can we convince someone when, in, when your conviction doesn't come from any reasoned approach? It's only choice. There are reasons I have and that yeah, I am not Give us that reason. This is what he's asking. Give us the reason. Come to the You're asking me to excuse myself why I don't believe in God that nobody proved God's existence. How can you be so entitled to expect me to prove you that God doesn't exist which you can't prove in the first place? That Who said we can't prove God exists? To prove it. Hang on. Where did you get the idea from God can be proven? Sorry? Where did you get this understanding that God is beyond any proof or evidence? Can I see God now? Can I? So let's understand. So you. No, so I don't have personal. That's why I'm saying. Two things you've already said. Personal experience. It's so you mentioned about two things. The criteria they've mentioned already. Can I see God? Can I experience God? So you're putting God into your reasons that you have to see. You have to see Him. You have to experience Him. Make God material and compare it to material okay. items being produced have, by other. Have you seen my brain? No, you haven't seen my brain because I haven't shown you any X-ray images or MRI images of my brain. So you haven't seen my brain. And you, we you, can agree it doesn't exist. Um, so, so you believe my, I don't have a brain, right? So you believe I don't have a brain because you haven't seen it. I don't see it performed. Sorry? I don't see it performed. Your criteria was in the around, so you the criteria know. in accepting. To believe there is a God, you have to see Him. You believe I have a brain. I did not say that this is a condition, and all of a sudden. You mentioned it. Did you not mention it? We I can't read, see Him. Because you're asking me to excuse myself why I don't believe in God. That you you gave a reason. You can't see Him. You can't see my brain. So, according to the extension of your logic, perhaps my brain doesn't exist. It has to because you're moving around and you're talking. To right. Me, the world moves around, right? The world moves around. You're moving around in this world. Can this world be a result of absolute nothingness in the distant past? Yes. What is absolute nothingness? Well, it doesn't really exist. So can it make something if it doesn't well, exist? There, there will be photons moving. So, so can there. absolute nothingness which doesn't exist make something like you and me? Why does it have to be made? Can it originate it just something? Happens. Things happen. Why? The problem about this is I you're think talking about things that are. I think we are now getting somewhere. If absolute nothingness ex doesn't exist, can it originate something that does exist, like you and me? Can you repeat the question? Sorry, I'm not the title. If absolute nothingness doesn't exist, yeah. can it originate, while being non-existent, something like you and me? Or the universe, the cosmos? I know everything. Do I That's know not my question. Pretty much is. You Absolute nothingness. Ask, Absolute you nothingness. You to ask a very complex, simple question. physical question. No, nope, it's a very simple question. Well, I'm not a, really a You think it's, it's a simple. very simple question. Does it mean it is simple because you call it's it simple? It's simple because you already have an answer. God is the answer. Um, if your answer Who's jumping the gun now? Sorry? I didn't say God. Absolute nothingness. Oh, you you spent the whole Absolute, interview jumping absolute the nothingness is the absence so of everything. This wonderful lady, yeah? such an art, is disingenuous. Absolute nothingness is the absence of everything. Absence of energy, 
absence of matter, absence of quarks, absence of quanta. Uh, so not really absolute that's nothing. that's what I mean by absolute nothingness. Can this absolute nothingness, which is non-existent, originate or bring about something which is existent, like you and me? But how do I know? Very well. You know it very well already. That's why you're not willing to say it, because the consequences of telling that is quite shifting in your paradigm of thought. Yeah. Absolute nothingness, I can tell you that you can assert with 100% certainty, it cannot bring about anything. So, because it doesn't exist. But I already said that it doesn't exist. I said there are so can protons it, in the vacuum. So there I'm not is talking about vacuum. I'm not talking about vacuums. I'm talking about absolute nothingness, where there is no vacuum, where there is no photon, where there is no quantum fluctuations, where there is no virtual particles, simply devoid of everything. Why are we basing the whole conversation about the watchmaker fallacy? Why are we even doing this? You, no, you, I asked you, you tell me that because nothing cannot create something, which is not true, you have antimatter and matter, and you have neutrinos jumping between those let's, two. Let's talk about this antimatter. Is antimatter something or nothing? Is neutrino something or nothing? I don't know, you tell me. Something. That is your definition. Something. Reality, right? Something. I mean, we, we have, we no, something. Reality. I have been consistent with you my want, definition. You want to know more than but you have not been consistent with your definition? Or have you been consistent with your you definition? Not been consistent. When I say absolute nothing, it's the total devoid of antimatter, photons, neutrino, quarks, hadrons, leptons, gluons. Everything. But you're asking me a question about I asked you that was supposedly 14 billion, 14 billion years before I was even alive. There was not nothingness. There was like, something always. Like you know the answer now. What happened? Do you know why I know the answer? Because because you believe it. No. I don't. No. You believe it. Not because of that. You believe it because your community believes it. Not because of that. Not because of that. You believe it because your community. If something it. exists now, that's why it's there true. cannot be absolute nothingness in the past. That's why I believe. Why? Because absolute nothingness cannot make something originate something. How do you know that? That's what we're arguing. If I have, to give you, let me illustrate what I mean by that. My friend who's not here. Why people used to believe that if it's raining from a cloud, that is absolutely sure. nothing in Israel. There's a cloud, looks like nothing, it's not solid, it's a gas. How come it's raining? People had no idea about that. You understood what I mean by absolute nothingness, right? So there will be eventually time Firstly, where God and his existence firstly, will be the bank. Firstly, you understand what I mean by absolute nothingness. Am I right? No, I don't really know, because you're asking me very complex questions about physics, so and quantum physics. When I say nothing, okay. I have a wallet. I have a wallet. I have a wallet in my pocket. If I said I have no money, nothing, what do you understand by that? That's what this lady is saying. That you have to get a job. No. How much money do I have? I don't know. I said nothing, no money. So how much money do I have? It depends how much material items you have that you can sell. No. And how much in my in my wallet through getting a job and working. in my wallet that's if I your said money, whatever money you can create over your lifetime. If I said in my wallet I have no money, how much money do I have in my wallet? Who calls it? I just answered that question. You asked the same exact same question. What is the answer? What is the answer? The answer will be not different. I just answered this question. I said that you have as much money as you are capable of creating, as you are capable of earning, as you are capable of taking whatever you have on top of you and selling it. That's how many? How many? I give you. Now you have money. Mm. This is money. Yeah. So how many cat is in your cup? Sorry? How many cat is in your cup? C A T cat. Dog cat. How many cat is in your cup? Real life cat. I'm asking you. Two right now. Okay. Nice talking to you. Take care.